for the latest in strategic affairs subscribe to our youtube channel click the bell icon for updates uh between the two china and pakistan both being the identified adversaries the kind of threat from both is different the kind of conventional threat that we see from china requires a military response with the conventional capabilities sure. simultaneously asymmetric capabilities developed by china which include the cyber the space yes. that part also we have to overcome sure. in addition China has that capability of the three warfares that is the public opinion psychological warfare and legal. the legal warfare yes. so again we have to match up with that mm. and this again requires whole of nation approach which of which military capability is a subset now you go on to the western borders conventionally we are much superior mm. but pakistan by the way it is made it has perfected the asymmetric capabilities using the terrorist tanzims mm. and the ispr Uh, whatever fault lines we may have as a nation is also being capitalized by pakistan yes. and when we talk of the two front war mm. let's look at the collusivity where what china wants to use from pakistan still being deniable right. non attributable those things will come at us from pakistan side and there i think pakistan will be a good shield for china mm. to weaken us further I think Sunzu has been very well understood by China and they are practically using it right. to reduce the cohesion in Indian society mm -hmm. within the armed forces right. within the army in particular mm -hmm. and that is where the information warfare is uh, at its coming. peak and there both of them are doing their best to be collusive